So who's sick? 35-year-old single mom. It's an odd presentation of paralysis. Is there any history of drug use? No. She says there's no history. She's not a liar. Okay, well, this is gonna be a tough case. I have almost no knowledge of alien physiology. Everyone lies, but there's an exception to every rule. Actually, there isn't. That's kind of what makes it a rule. The patient's mother died of breast cancer when she was seven. She never even knew her mom was sick. She promised herself she would never hide anything from her own daughter. Oh, I didn't know she'd promised. And we're not her daughter. Patient inherited the BRCA1 mutation from her mom. She had a prophylactic double mastectomy 10 years ago. She lied about it. She told her coworker. She told her kid. She lied to the world. Reconstructive surgery is designed to convince people that she didn't get reconstructive surgery. OK, we can rule out breast cancer. Actually, I was going to rule it in. Paralysis could be paraneoplastic. Even the best surgeon can't remove every cell of breast tissue. MRI what's left of her chest. Set the machine to scan for irony. I'm gonna go redo the patient history. Your mom tell you about all the drugs she does? She smokes pot once in a while, but not in a long time. What about you? How would that make her sick? Are you a doctor? I'm 11. That's not an answer. It's an evasion. Drinking? You ever sneak a drink? I don't do any of that stuff. It's bad for you. I understand why well, you don't want your mom to know, but I'm her doctor, so... And I would tell my mom. And I would tell you. Why? Because she would never lie to me. What's her favorite way to have sex? I don't get what sex has to do with breast cancer. Are you a doctor? Did you go to med school since the last time I asked? And you just think we gotta be lying to... White lies? What are those? Those are lies we tell to make other people feel better. I don't lie. Rationalizations? What are those? Those are lies we tell to make ourselves feel better. No, we lies don't. Lies of omission? Saddle bronc or doggy? That's sex talk. She used to like being on top, but now she likes to be on her stomach. That way she doesn't have to see them looking at her scars. How are you feeling? I still can't move my hands. It'll take a few more hours to cycle all your blood through the machine. What just happened? Nothing. What's wrong? What do you mean? The lights just went out. Didn't they? What did you do? Is this from the drugs? Most of the drugs should be out of your system by now, and our drugs I wouldn't. can't see. Do something! I can't see! I can't see! So they really never lie? Doesn't seem like it. Admirable. Tell Cameron everything? Huh. No. You think she keeps secrets? If I knew, they wouldn't be secrets. I hope she does. People have a right to a little privacy, even from the people they love. You buy a house a present? No, would I? To screw with me? And I'm gonna say yes. Oh, wait, stop. Stop. What's that smell? The bone is smoky. The bones are harder than the drill? CA2 deficiency is a genetic disorder that scrambles proteins. If the blood test is positive, you'll need a bone marrow transplant. Transplant sounds like a euphemism for slim odds. Uh, slim, but not none. We're gonna need to test Jane for a match. Don't you have donor banks? Jane is your best bet. The procedure's perfectly safe. There's no risk. No risk. Any surgery has Then don't some. tell me there's no risk. You're gonna tell me there's no pain either? The testing will hurt a little. I'll be fine. If she doesn't do this and you don't make it, she's gonna spend the rest of her life blaming herself. Mom, please. Find someone else. I can't be dying. Sure you can. You're wrong. You don't even know what I have. What you have is one last Christmas with your daughter. One last chance to give her a present. The truth. It's inexpensive, highly valued. Never have to stand in line to return it the day after Christmas. What are you talking about? A mother who's going to die doesn't refuse a donor test because it might hurt. She refuses when she knows it won't match. Which tends to happen when mother and daughter aren't mother and daughter. I 
can do DNA tests if you'd rather keep lying to me. I never wanted kids. I love them, but with my genes, I knew this woman, a drug addict. She got pregnant, didn't want to have an abortion. But she also didn't want her daughter to ever know who her real mother was, what she was. I promised never to tell. Nothing you dismay. Remember Christ our Savior was born on Christmas Day to save us all from Satan's power when we were gone astray. Any people know holiday spirit? Bring me the eggnog of good cheer. House, if you have something to say, say it. If you don't, give us a chance to get home before Santa. Scrooge, give the patient Risperidone. That's an antipsychotic. She's dying. She's not crazy. I am going to perform a Christmas miracle. Oh, tidings of comfort and joy. Comfort and joy. You said all the other causes of osteopetrosis are fatal. Except for the one we discounted early, because it was impossible. When a fetus forms, it's just a mass of cells. Breast tissue covers extensive portions of the body. As the fetus develops, most of this tissue recedes, remaining only in the fun places. But sometimes, extra breast tissue is left behind in places where it doesn't belong. Risperidone does a lot of things. One is, it makes breast tissue swell so we can find it more easily. You're telling me I could have breast cancer somewhere not in my breast? That doesn't make sense. Taub's parents have a winter condo in Florida. They're still New Yorkers. Actually, my parents don't, don't care. I told a parable. Now I'm going to raise the dead. In that syringe. That's gotta be a fat deposit. Yes, I could be wrong. If I am, she's dead, so shut up. What's that? Risperidone also causes galactorrhea. What's that? Gala Galactic? Open your mouth. Relax, you've had it before. I am not. Milk? Ew! Cut out your mom's tumor and start her on chemo. All the rest of your symptoms should go away. I love you.